Hello and welcome to another action-packed edition of This uh, unnamed pizza place has a uh, unbranded heating cabinet that has some problems. It doesn't work, see? Somebody's been working on it and I just wanted to show you a few things that they left behind. Let's give her a once-over. What do we get? So I find a piece of wire and wire nut. Just chilling over here, that's always good. I'm gonna say this is where the wire came from. Alright. Everything seems pretty legit except uh well I wonder what the story is with that one spade connector that doesn't have a wire in it. Um about these connections over here. Let's have a good close look at that. Remember these carry about 18 amps. So I wonder if these are suitable for that. Here's something I don't see every day. Look at that. Wagos. Now if I just turn it on. It kind of looks like it works just fine, doesn't it? Everything on this works. Except that it's broken. Well, it's running right now, but this wire right here is incredibly hot. That one's pretty hot. This one is very hot as well. It's like squishy and this one's stiff. It's a double pole switch on a 120 volt heater. Look at the way this is done. Let's have a good glance at the way these are done. What tool was used on that? What about this one? Do you think it was a ratchet crimper? Or do you think it was a pair of needle nose pliers? This is the worst connector in here. You can see that it's burning the heat shrink tubing. This was done with a pair of needle nose pliers, not a crimper. Notice that it's charcoaling. Do you see that? This isn't okay to carry 18 amps of current. Just get a ratchet crimper and do it right if you're gonna bother. Look, every one of these is different. These wires are too thin. These connectors are garbage. I don't care what you think about deviating from the schematic, I'm gonna show you the way you're supposed to wire these things for them to last, whether you like it or not. Hey man, look. This will reach. This will reach. Now it's been completely rewired. As you can see, the neutral comes in, splits two ways, and goes to two different layers of the same terminal strip on the block. And the neutral to the elements, right here, is connected to that same strip. The current doesn't have to go through the rivet. That's pretty important. Also, the hot splits two ways and it goes through both poles of the power supply. And then it comes over here to two different layers of the same strip on the terminal block. Lo and behold, the hot comes out the same layer into the relay. If you look really closely, you can just barely tell that every one of these connectors is actually crimped properly. No needle nose pliers. We have a crimper. We know how to use it. Now the switch won't burn up. Now the relay won't melt. Now the terminal block isn't going to disintegrate. So here's the heater current. And here's the current for any one set of contacts on that switch. You know, it's like 